All right, just making a quick video. Um, with an important tip, if you're looking to power a microwave with a power station, is that, um, you know, these microwaves, whenever you see them listed, um, they always list the wattage, right? And that kind of usually goes hand in hand with the uh, size of the microwave. Um, but so like this one here is a thousand watts and uh, that's kind of a, a typical typical size but you can get them smaller or bigger but um the thing to note is that that's actually the output power of the microwave the actual amount of power that the microwave uses from the wall is actually much higher right so um if you're looking at buying a power station to power a microwave like you don't want to just get a unit that has you know, in this case, it's a thousand watt uh, microwave. You don't want to get a unit that just has a thousand watt inverter, right? Because it just ain't gonna, it just ain't gonna work. And uh, I'm gonna actually demonstrate that here for you. This is the Jackery 1500, and this has a 1800 watt inverter. And um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's just turn it on, right? So uh, turn that on right quick. And I just got some water in there. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. So there it is. It's about just under 1300. Well, yeah, right about 1300 watts, right? So um, that's quite a bit higher than a thousand, right? So in this case, about 30% higher. So um, yeah, I would just like, that's just something you need to be aware of, right? Is add, you know, add 30, maybe 40 maybe even 50%, right, to the actual um, listed power of the microwave for what it's actually going to draw. And then you can base, you know, the size power station or the size inverter that the power station has off of that, right? So you're not going to run into any issues being able to power it and whatnot. So, yeah, just, uh, just a real quick tip. Uh, hopefully found that interesting or helpful. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.